Okay, we're going to delete this keyframe here because that one was a mistake. And we're going to page down a few more and move over and click mask path again. Shift drag over and I gotta fix the uh, points here. Okay, go a few more keyframes. Just checking here because something is looking a little odd. Okay, there we go. And just click mass path again. Okay, I'm probably going to pause now because this is probably going to take a few minutes and don't want to waste any YouTube time. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, guys, I'm back. Uh, finally got uh, pretty much most of it finished. It's been about two and a half hours since uh, uh, I started working on you know masking and a animate making the masks and animating the masks and um, uh, and did I mention before it's uh, time consuming and uh, pain in the butt and uh, uh, really really time consuming <laughs> uh, two hour two and a half hours later and uh, it's it's not really that great but um, using the techniques I've showed you, you can put yourself in another film if you want to, but the key is getting really, really, really good tracking data. Um, okay, and here's show you what I what I um, uh, finished up with. Let me get into there. Okay, and so we have the null object that has the uh, um, all the tracking data, and this is the first thing I masked out, which is uh, a bamboo, one of the bamboo trees. Uh, second thing I masked out, let's move down the animation here, is um, the falling slice of bamboo tree. Um, third thing I masked out is uh, our hero now running off, which he um, obscures um, uh, Sam here. And all those masks are animated, um, all the points are animated, blah, blah, blah. Um, and that was pretty much the last of all the uh, fancy work. Um, what I did was I just took all those layers, um, pre-composed them into uh, one final layer, which what I did was I applied a mask um, around um, the uh, uh, final composition uh, to clean up the letterbox because on the one that with all the layers you can see down here um, Sam's legs are down past uh, the, the actual letterbox so uh, I used uh, a mask uh, to tighten it up a little bit so it looks nice and clean and uh, that's all I got and uh, I'll hope hopefully uh, WC Thrill this this helped you out a little bit um, even though the animation isn't that great uh, like I said before, this is it's something that takes a lot of time and work. Um, and again, you know, uh, let, let, let's recap things you want to have. Um, you want to have um, good animation. Um, I mean, as in um, film, anything, the media that you bring in, uh, I'm referring to as animation as like all-encompassing term. You want to have good animation, um, clean, uh, as little... Um, noise as you possibly can and uh, try and keep the uh, animation that you're using to be as steady as possible um, even evenly uh, even speed um, you'll know once you once you uh, I've done this once or twice what works good and what doesn't what's more work and what's not um, Next thing is uh, you want to make sure the lighting of your character is at least very close to the lighting that's in the scene that you're using or else it's going to look really odd. Um, third, make sure your character um, matches the original film. Like mine, the film has, the animation has grain, it has noise, 
um, and it's a little blurred out. So you have to put some grain and some noise and blur out the character a little bit. Um, and the rest is just, um, you know, keeping it nice and tidy, um, making sure your tracking um, is is nice and tight. Um, and it's going to, like I said, probably five million times, Take it, it's going to take time and it's a lot of work. I the let's see here. I think it's seven seconds here of 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 animation that I that I worked on. From start to finish, it's taken me about maybe five hours, and um, a lot of it was tracking time, trying to find a good track, uh, trying to find uh, something in the animation that was worth worth tracking. Um, I tracked a few times, so. There you go. So uh, WC Thrill again. I, I hope hopefully this uh, helps you out. If you have any questions, just go ahead and uh, uh, give me an email through YouTube, and I'll be more than happy to uh, you know give you any more pointers or, or answer any of your questions. And uh, anyone else who has any questions or wants me to try and do a, a tutorial for them to to help them out with a project with either Maya or After Effects. Uh, just let me know. I'll be more than happy to do one for you. All right. Uh, I guess until the next time, guys. Take care, and I'll uh, I'll see y'all later. Okay. Bye.